all of these religions are all equally false, equally false, but they're not equally dangerous. The reason why they're not equally dangerous is because Islam is a lot more political uh, and obsessed with governance and obsessed with influencing people's lives and obsessed with telling uh, followers of Islam how to control the people's lives way more than other religions. Again, there was a time when Christian Europe was in the Dark Ages and the Muslims were going through the Golden Age of Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that setup, you could very well look in that environment and say, oh, well, Christianity clearly is much more ripe Ooh. to authoritarianism and anti-science and so on. So. Ar not Muslims, Arab and Persians who happened mm -hmm. to be Muslim went mm -hmm. through a Golden Age, not because of Islam, despite of Islam. Okay. Same as Christians when they went through an Enlightenment Age, it had nothing to do with Christianity. It was we're in spite at, of Christianity, we're, right? We're so I'm talking, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the religion itself, not what Muslims and Christians did. But yes, ahead. historically, every religion has kind of had its time. Uh, Christian Christianity for a very long time uh, was uh, was actually the worst religion and the most dangerous religion out there. A lot of it was because of the Old Testament. So here's what the, the reason that I think Islam Islam is actually more evolved. It's smarter, and because it's smarter, it's more political. Mm -hmm. It's actually it's actually uh, learned the lessons of both Judaism and Christianity. Now, what Islam did is it took both of those. It took like the corporal and the earthly punishments and the laws and the and the statesmanship and the the, po polit the politics of Judaism mm. from the Old Testament, and it took the afterlife and the eternal torture from from Christianity, and it actually combined it into a system that was very very effective. It was yeah. very effective as as a political system. So that Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.